Hi, Andrea. Thanks for joining us. Uh, let's just jump right into it. Where is the dog now? Actually, there are several dogs. Um, I've been advocating for one of my students whose dog went missing, but there's another family from the community who's also missing their dog, Sammy. So to the best of my knowledge, there's two dogs missing, but there is also another gentleman from Cross Lake, uh, Melvin McLeod, whose dog went missing when the animal rescue were in. So I'm, I, I don't know what's going on with his dog, though. How many dogs are missing from Pemissikamac uh, in total? Um, I, well, if you count Melvin's, there's three. Um, you, mentioned, you asked before where the dogs are now. Well, they're in Ontario. They're in the, I guess, custody of a group called Lost Boys Hope. And they've been asked repeatedly to return the dogs by our chief and council, by the families. But so far, it's been very frustrating because we haven't, it's been two months and the dogs aren't back. And that leads uh, right into my next question. So how has this process been of getting the dog returned? Oh, <clears throat> well, the dogs first went missing when um, Lost Boys Hope left our community on June 5th. And usually we have a process. Um, what happens is pictures are posted on, on local media, like the Cross Lake Band of Indians Facebook page or the Cross Lake Lost Pets Network. And the pictures are posted and families will be able to see if their animal has been mistakenly taken. Unfortunately, they didn't post due to our terrible internet connectivity in the north until June 7th. So it wasn't until June 7th that the dogs were able to be identified um, for any kind of media trail. But as soon as they were, um, both Raina, my student, identified her dog, and Hilary Moni Monias identified her dog, Sammy. And since then, it's been a lot of runaround. The rescue has said um, initially that they would send the dogs back. I've seen all of the emails and messaging between the um, animal rescue organizations, and it's just been a, I don't know the plate word for it, it's, it's been a really circuitous route because it's been, okay, June 7th, we'll send the dogs back. Oh, the 15th. Um, Lost Boys Hope writes to our chief and says, no, we want to keep these dogs. Do you expect any dogs back? Like kicking the family right out of any negotiations. So it's, I think the biggest word is frustrating. So what is the community doing to keep this from happening again, Andrea? Oh, no, that's, that's the easiest part of it all. Um, because of the exposure of us writing online, and talking about these missing dogs, we've had several people all across Canada put their heads together to try to help us find some solutions. So right now, there's a group of women based out of Ontario and British Columbia, um, personal friends, community members from Cross Lake, who are getting tags together, blank tags, and we have a person who's volunteered to engrave them. We're collecting uh, ten dollars per tag of course you know if, if somebody can't afford to get a tag for their dog we will find a way to sponsor them and we're going to put together we're calling it operation dog tag <laughs> and we'll take any monies that we make and we'll put it back into helping pets into the community and do you have any advice if someone thinks uh, a dog uh, rescue may have taken their pet That's a really good question. This has been a really hard process. If you're from a northern community or a native indigenous community, make sure you first find, I'd say, a reputable media source that you can actually talk to that won't misquote you and won't go on general assumptions about where you're from and how you treat animals, because that has been one of the hardest things to combat since this started. People make a lot of assumptions about Cross Lake, Michigamac, 
and how we treat animals. So that's Perfect. probably the best advice I can give. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks, Andrea. That's Andrea McIver joining us from Winnipeg. Thank you.